anywhere else would I be but the city of the dead. Would you like to ask a question? Or just stand there like you've seen a ghost? Tell me how to reach the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls is a place of unimaginable power. The key to life and death of creation itself. And that is why the well has a key of its own. One that was divided long ago. The angels keep one half, and the demons the other. And never shall the two meet. Unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City, as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again and go wherever it takes you. Absalom lives. Yes, Absalom lives on. His rage and agony spread his corruption and he will unmake all of creation to destroy the palace. I killed Absalom once, Crowfather. If I could go back, I would see him spared. I doubt he would grant you the same courtesy. How could I restore humanity? The Well of Souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. And in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim. If you sacrifice their souls, yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin, to restore mankind. The Nephilim are dead by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? So fast, horseman. You are following me. So I am. I will remain here at the tree, should you have need of me on your quest. <laughs> oh, and Dusk has a beak for more than corpses, horseman. Follow him, and you will find the key. Follow Dusk, find the key? Can't be that easy, cruel father. You may be right, Death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. This place is called Lost Light. It is an outpost, far beyond the gates of heaven. And it is here that the angels have hidden the key to the Well of Souls. Why here? Why not the White City? There are some amongst the angels who would use the key for their own purpose. So it was hidden here to safeguard it from their schemes. Or so they hoped. The Well has power over all life. It does, though I suspect there is more to your question. Go on, Ryder. Ask it. Four never knew of the well. Why was it kept from us? For fear of what you may have done with that knowledge. 
the Nephilim could not be allowed to ravage creation any longer. They needed to stay dead. Then the well can bring them back. And so we get to the root of it. Yes, the well is the font of all life. Angel, demon, mankind, even Nephilim. But from their blades they wrought chaos. And from that was born corruption. You were right to destroy them. This is no place for a horse. Beside you, the gates of Eden would have died were it not for your blades. But I'm not troubled that you don't recall me. Your thoughts that day were on killing Nephilim. You were of the Hell God. I was. But I guard the light now. And the Archon. You'll find both in the Crystal Spire. But something tells me you are not here to glory in my master's radiance. What gave that away? The Archon's that way, Horseman. Perhaps I have other business. If that business takes you to the Kingdom of the Dead, you would serve the Light to deliver this scroll. What business have you in that land of corpses? I seek an old friend. A lost soul. Where better to look? Take that scroll to the undead court. That they may answer my question. I'm looking for a key. I would guess that what you seek is no simple key. For that, you should consult the Archon. He sees much from the peak of his spire. How did you come to leave the Hellgard? Abaddon sent me here to watch over the Crystal Spire and the Archon. There is much at stake should the Spire fall. What is this place? An outpost. We call it Lost Light, for what we left behind in the White City. Here, we are closer to darkness. And who is this Archon? Lucian is the head of the Scriptorium. Those angels record all that he sees when he peers into the shadow. The Ivory Citadel holds their records, an archive vast beyond thinking. Where is this Citadel? Lost beyond the mists. Pray your business never sends you there. Find the one who guards the throne. Out of 
the shadows and into the light. I see you, horsemen. The things you have done. The lives you have ended. I know why you are here. Then you will give me the key. I have guarded the key for centuries. It is mine, and I will not part with it lightly. Not now. Corruption spreads. In our city. In our hearts. Only I remain pure. A beacon against the darkness. Helpless to push it back. We are not all helpless, Arkham. Uh, perhaps not. After the seals were broken, and Hell's legions loosed upon the earth, many divine relics were lost. One, the Rod of Arafel, could help reverse what has happened here. I dare not retrieve the Rod myself. The gates to the White City are closed to any angel who visits Earth. But you... are no angel. Acquire the Rod, and I will clear a path into my citadel. There you will find the key to the Tree of Life. As for what you will find on Earth, after you face it, even you may curse the name of war. is about. to earth by the Archon Hestus to battle the demons in the end war. But Hestus fell and the rod was shattered. Now the destroyer uses its pieces to fuel his army of darkness. What was broken can be reformed. Where are the pieces of the rod? In the hands of the destroyer. He has summoned creatures from the abyss and drawn forth his chosen. Things of blasphemy who even now divide this world into their own hellish domains. The suffering are one such beast. They feed upon the dead of this world and twist them into a swarm of flesh and bone that fight as one mind. It was they who attacked us moments ago. One mind, easily sundered. I will not risk more Helgard to recapture the Rod of Arafel, but should you wish to undertake this fool's errand, and follow the trail of corpses left by my brethren. Fool's errand. Well, it would not be my first. So that it is not your last. Take this. Thanks for the warning. How many angels died here? Too many. But for every dead angel, there is another, kept alive against his will. Their suffering empowers the destroyer. Perhaps you could release them from their torment, Pale Rider. If you wish. However, all I can offer the captives is a swift end. That is blessing enough. Why are the Hell Gods still on Earth? You lost your ill, in case you haven't noticed. Where else would we go? All of creation saw what happened here. How the Hellguard marched before the seals were broken. The White City is closed to us. We can never go home. What are these chosen? They don't look like demons. 
No, they are something far more ancient, drawn from the heart of the Abyss. The most powerful serve the Destroyer, and rule in his name over Ash and Bow. The rest kill everything around them. It is a wonder you've lasted this long. Even the dead march against you. You speak of the swarm, of all the creatures that roam the wastes. They most hunger for revenge. Not even death can stop them. I can feel its power within you. Marad wills itself whole. You may be deaf to its cries, but I am not. The final peace lies beyond this barrier, in an area heavily fortified by the Shadow. The Stryer will not be pleased when I restore the Lord Barathel. The warriors may pay the price. The White City is lost to us. This broken world will soon be our grave. And yet we must fight on against the darkness, to uphold the light. If your actions hasten our end, so be it. May you live to see the Destroyer take his last breath. You're ill of the Hell God. Good luck, Ryder. The final peace of the Green Cross. Arafel has been made whole. I am tempted to ask that you wield that weapon and turn the tide of this war. But I fear the destroyer would capture it again and turn it to his dark purpose. No, better that you remove it from this world and into the safekeeping of the White Army. We will make our stand here until the Hellguard is no more. I would stand with you, Yorio. My brother's fate takes me on another path. You have proven yourself honorable. A virtue little known with your kind. But if I ever see him, war must answer for his crimes. He could not have brought this upon the earth. And I will see my brother spared. Do what you will, Ryder. But this world is lost, and that cannot be undone. And what of the hell, guard, you? Your blade dull, eventually. That's what I'm counting on. The demons will suffer all the more when we force the blade home. You just might get it. The Rod of Arafa. I have been waiting so long. It feels every bit as powerful as I imagined. Then you should have no problem clearing a path into your city. A path? No. I will clear the entire realm. I will burn away the shadows with holy light. If you are to reach the Citadel, you will need wings. ancient. He still wanders the ruins. He can help you end your quest. <laughs>
He wanted me to. I couldn't destroy the key. Surely you understand, Horseman. I did what I had to do. Opened the well. Protected the key. From the questions they asked. And from you. Only I may bear the key. Chosen! 